The hardest part about writing your letter of resignation for retirement. Truthfully, the hardest part isn't the actual writing. That part is easy. Anyone can sum up the years in a couple of paragraphs and express gratitude for the opportunities. The real challenge is the emotional weight behind each word you put on that paper. You see, retirement isn't just a long vacation. It's a transition into a new phase of life. And that transition is packed with a lot of lasts. Last commute, last lunch with coworkers, last time logging into your email. It all carries more significance because it's the end of an era. There's also the reflection that comes from looking in the rearview mirror. As you write, you'll likely think about the decades of relationships you've nurtured. Some of these people you've seen more than your own family. And now, in Portland or wherever life's taken you, you're saying goodbye to a daily routine where these bonds were forged and solidified. And let's not forget the big existential questions that bubble up. What will I do with my time? Did my work make an impact? Retirement is more than just figuring out how to not work anymore. It's about questioning your legacy. Not everyone is leaving their job to sail the world or write the great American novel. Some may not have a definitive plan, which can be terrifying. There's also a sense of identity at play. Work can define us in many ways. When folks ask, what do you do? They rarely expect the answer to be, I enjoy my garden and take long walks. Your job title can feel like a part of your name, and now you're voluntarily stripping that away. But perhaps the hardest thing is the optimism you're supposed to pack into that letter. Not everyone feels purely excited about retirement. There are the financial worries, the fear of being less relevant, and that heartbreaking thought, does it even matter if I am gone? I'd argue that the hardest part about writing that resignation letter is the space between the lines, the part where life happens, where emotions live, and where the next chapter is as unwritten as the resignation letter when you first sit down to it. And yet, despite these difficulties, finishing that letter often brings a sense of closure and accomplishment. It's an important step towards embracing the unknown. As someone living in Portland, I can tell you the city breeds a love for the outdoors and a pioneer spirit that can help navigate the new territory of retirement. The city's backdrop becomes a canvas for all those plans you've delayed. So when it's time to sign off on your final work memo, remember to take a moment, take a deep breath, and recognize you're not just ending a job. You're honoring a significant part of your life and stepping into the next great adventure. And that's no small thing.